This is a totally unlicensed civilian legal frequency hopping radio. What's up YouTube, Alex here from Mojave Repeater and today we're gonna to be talking about the Motorola DTR 700 radio. Most of you are probably familiar with frequency hopping from what you've heard of military radios. Uh, the technique of frequency hopping makes this radio both extremely effective and efficient at conserving spectrum while at the same time difficult to direction find and also resilient to jamming. Um, additionally, it's hard to demodulate the frequency hopping uh, nature of this radio, so it makes it difficult for uh, prying eyes to extract information from. While this radio itself is not capable of encryption, that doesn't make it unuseful, and we're gonna talk about some of the use cases where you might employ this radio uh, for your preparedness. This radio is unlicensed because it is certified by FCC part 15 and falls out in the ISM frequency bands, that is industrial, scientific, and medical devices uh, bands. This particular radio falls out in the 900 megahertz ISM band, but there's also a 2.4 and 5.8 gigahertz ISM band as well. Um, I would encourage you guys to take a look at devices that are FCC part 15 certified for operation in ISM bands, because you can find a lot of creative and interesting technologies uh, as far as radios are concerned that falls out within these frequency bands. This is where you would find a lot of things like key fobs, garage door openers, baby monitors, and stuff like that. Uh, they don't carry a license, and typically they require a creative collaborative use of the spectrum so that any individual device is not too hungry for uh, frequency space on the spectrum. So there's a lot of really cool and creative devices uh, that you might find within this, these frequency bands. Since these radios are much higher in frequency than what you would expect from your typical VHF, UHF handheld, you might think that they suffer from a lack of range. Logic would follow that considering that RF path loss is greater at higher frequencies, then these would not perform as well as your typical two meter or 70 centimeter band radios. Uh, but I can tell you for certain that these can reach out to a great distance, especially considering that they're only putting out one watt of power. I carried this radio for about a week and did multiple tests achieving over 15 kilometers of range from my house to my office in 29 Palms. One really useful feature of these radios is that it does a sort of handshake with receiving radios to let you know whenever that you're within range of a receiving radio, otherwise it won't transmit. That helps you to understand when you're within and outside of range of a receiving radio. There are even some neat little tactical accessories for these, like the Disco 32 push to talk. So you can cable this right up to your tactical military hearing protection uh, with no problem. Well, probably one of the first things that I would do uh, when purchasing this radio is go for a stubby antenna. It's such a small form factor and that stubby antenna is gonna keep it up and out of the way of your kit or your gear um, so it doesn't snag on anything. I'm gonna link both of those things down in the description of the video below. Let's break down some of the specs on this radio. So it operates in the 900 megahertz ISM band. It's pushing out one watt of power um, and it is frequency hopping spread spectrum. It's FCC part 15 certified, meaning it is totally unlicensed and legal for anybody to use. You can expect about 16 and a half hours of battery life out of these with a 5590 duty cycle. That means 5% of the time you are transmitting, 5% of the time receiving, and 90% of the time on standby. That is, that is on the standard 2500 milliamp hour battery. And I can tell you that is a pretty accurate spec. Um, after using this radio for about a week, it's not the kind of radio that you have to charge daily. Uh, honestly, you can pretty much charge it um, every other day and you'll be just fine uh, for using this radio. It's IP54 rated, so it does leave a lot to be desired in terms of waterproof and dust resistance. Um, but in terms of dur its durability, it's rated to military standard 810G. Now, a lot of radios meet the spec for military standard 810G. Um, that said, there are a lot of radios that are also built beyond the spec. So for example, your duty rated Motorola APX radios, um, and things of that nature are gonna be a little bit more durable, or actually a, a heck of a lot more durable than something like this. I will say that the build quality is really nice on these radios. Motorola makes a nice quality radio. Um, and I would expect that it could withstand 
uh, some you know, durability challenges, let's say. This radio can do both group and private calling, and it has a limited predefined text messaging capability as well. So what is this radio really good for? At 900 megahertz, it performs really well in urban environments and indoor outdoor settings. If you need something that is a bit more covert and more difficult to direction find, then this radio suits the job. It's not encrypted, but this radio can give you a reasonable expectation of privacy against the average Joe who wouldn't be able to necessarily break out the hop set. These are great for private internal communications. You don't need to compete for frequency space since they make very efficient use of the spectrum. And finally, thanks to the extremely small and slim size, this is a very easy radio to conceal. So you can use it in an urban setting without drawing too much attention to yourself. I would not use this radio for any scenario where you might need to reach out to other people or external support, like hiking or backcountry adventures, since you can't just jump on somebody else's channel and expect to communicate. You need to be set up with the proper programming and hop set before you're able to reach somebody on this radio. It's also in the 900 megahertz band, which is not common for um, other people like ham radio operators to be operating it. I would consider this radio for private internal communications and as a means of diversifying your pace plan. At only $500, it is a low cost uh, as compared with some of the other high quality digital radios on the market. It's also a great way to outfit a team if you have, for example, a team leader who is gonna reach out to higher entities at uh, with a higher quality radio at $1,000. Um, you can also outfit the subordinate members of your team with these radios for 500 bucks each, and it is a pretty effective solution for that use case. So let's take a look at its size as compared with some other popular radios on the market. So this in my left hand here um, is a Motorola XTS 5000, and my right hand is the DTR 700. So you can see the, the XTS is much taller than the DTR. It's also quite a bit heavier, and then you can see how it uh, differs in terms of its width as well. The XTS is definitely a more robust radio, but that comes with a lot of size and weight to it. I wouldn't expect to easily conceal a XTS 5000, whereas something like this could fit in a pocket um, and you wouldn't even notice it on somebody's person. So here's the radio compared with a Baofeng UV5R. They're actually quite similar in terms of their weight. The DTR is actually a little bit shorter and a little bit slimmer than the UV5R. And this is comparing it to a UV5R with the extended battery on it. And here's the radio compared with the new uh, Hytera HP682 HP6 series of radio. So you can see they're actually just about the same dimension both width, height, and depth to them. Uh, these radios are pretty much like dead nuts the same size. So they're both equally concealable, uh, just a different type of radio. Thanks so much for watching and staying tuned to the channel. If there's something that you'd like to see in future videos, please drop a comment down below. I do read the comments and I would love to get your feedback on what videos you wanna see me cover in the future. Um, so please consider subscribing if you'd like to see more and please join us at one of our training courses. We're doing training courses all around the country uh, every month. So please check us out at mojaverepeter.com. Give us a follow on Instagram and I hope to see you at a future training course uh, where we teach you how to use your radio to be a more effective asset to yourself, your family, your team in survival, preparedness, disaster uh, and emergency scenarios. So check us out. Thanks again, and I'll see you guys in the next one.